welcome 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 guys today who can show me how to do a quick and easy date night hairstyle date night who can give us that tutorial oh me yeah oh me i can show you how to do a quick and easy date night hairstyle and come with me so i can tell you how i found out that i was not making the max amount of money in my salon because of my self-talk. It was one nice sunny day and I'm heading to the salon. You know, it's a regular day doing hair. Adding value, you know, making the girls look beautiful, getting money. I'm inside cleaning up. It was some hair left over from the day before, so I'm cleaning. And then all of a sudden the question hit me. Like it literally hit me like a ton of bricks. Why aren't you a millionaire yet? That is a good question. I really wanted to know the answer too. That is such a good question because I get everything that I want, literally. If I don't get that said thing, I get better. So that question was so good. I needed to figure it out and figure it out right now. So guess what I did? Can you guess what I did? Oh baby, I closed up shop, okay? No money is making until you answer this year question. This question right here, because that is a good question. And I know it might seem a little drastic. You're like, oh, you're closing up shop. You're not going to make any money. But I know how to override my system. Like when I have no choice, answers are going to start flying. You have to know thyself. And what I know is I know how to get an answer. You know what they say in the Bible, ask and it shall be answered. Exactly what I did. We needed answers today. I sat in the couch in my salon for five hours. I did not move. I said, you're not going anywhere. You're not doing anything. Not looking at any phone. We need to find the answer to this question. Now it is the second person that came to knock on the door for services, okay? And I already made a vow to myself. You are not getting up until you answer this question. This is the important question. So therefore, we're not making any money until we figure this out. We're sitting there, we're thinking, falling asleep, thinking, falling asleep, and we're just not getting anything until I hear a big bang on the door. Chase, Chase! So I guess they saw my car and was like, oh, she here. No answer. I still did not answer. I'm like, you're not getting up. You're not moving. We are going to figure this out today. No lie. I was like, oh, let me go get up because I know this person got some sweet, sweet gossip for me, okay? I'm just going to let the answer hit me when it hit me. And I'm like no this is the important question you this is something you need to know like right now like yesterday so yeah we're not moving so y'all get the point i have a notebook that i carry around and you know i want to get up from this spot like i don't want to keep sitting down not doing anything so i picked up my notebook something just told me to pick my notebook up i just started writing down everything like every little thing that could possibly be stopping me from reaching my financial goal lack of discipline poor time management fear of taking risks complacency procrastination poor financial habits i wrote down everything that could possibly be stopping me from reaching the financial levels i intended to get to like i told you i wrote everything down I just needed to be aware of what self-sabotaging program was playing. So I copied that list to a new sheet. And what I saw was all of these were effects. So I'm just like, what is the cause of this? These are all effects. So I picked up my phone and somehow my hand touched something. I really, I really do not know what my hand touched. And what it said was, your thoughts are what's causing this. I said, whoa. I said, no, 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 no. Like, I know things work like this. Like, you ask and it shall be answered. But that one was just blatant. Like, 
it said your bad thoughts are holding you back like literally and then i lost it i lost the instagram thing that said what it said and i'm like wait no i have to go back i have to go back i instantly wrote that down i said this is this is the reason right here and when i thought about it whew, i'm just getting like excited just telling you guys about it like this was a life changing. It basically said that everything that you're having problem manifesting, it's you doing it with your self-sabotaging thoughts. I said, oh, it couldn't be me. I'm the most positive thinker I know. So I needed to identify these thoughts, these self-talks that are so-called sabotaging. Now I'm keeping track of all of them. One, two, three. Oh, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute now. Mm, this one. This one is a little woo-woo. I didn't know you think like that. Oh, okay. So I went on a week of observing these thoughts. I needed to know the answer, what was causing these effects, and I needed to know that pronto. What we found was I'm not good enough. I don't have enough time. The clients won't pay that much. The competition is high. I will never be as successful as them. Being in business is hard, especially when you have two kids. I can't afford investing in my business. Failure is so risky. I'm a good leader. I don't need to get better. I don't need to change. I'm still young. I have time. These are a few of the self-sabotaging talks that was holding me back. Now, here's what I did. I had to go cancel those talks. Let's start with the first one. I'm not good enough. This thought stopped me from charging what my services were really worth. Not to mention the damage it did to my confidence, I'm sure. So having the thought not good enough can cause you to underprice yourself. Don't do that. For number two, I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. I have two kids to take care of, not to mention I'm growing my business by myself. How can I grow a business when I have two kids? Quickly cancel that one. It gets you feeling overwhelmed and not to mention it's a lie. There are multiple women that take care of their kids and run and grow their businesses. For number three, clients won't pay that much. Definitely get rid of that one. There are clients that want to pay premium price or premium services everyone knows that the better you are the more you get paid number four failure is risky no failure is the prerequisite for success number five I'm a great leader and I don't need to get better ha I definitely had to throw that one away ASAP like I had to throw that one away quick, quick, quick. Throw, throw it out throw it out quick 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 throw it out oh that one had to go babes if you're not reaching the level that you intend to get to always go to the cause not the effect okay the cause is always your thought love you Mwah.